The fourth reason I came up with on why I recommend that you don't have an official child support order as part of your settlement agreement is avoiding conflict. And I wrote down, in some cases, the formalization of a child support order can lead to heightened conflict between ex-partners. By keeping child support arrangements informal, parents may be able to avoid unnecessary tension and maintain a more positive relationship for the sake of their children. And this came up on exactly, and I wrote, I, I had this plan to do this video today before I had this con- I had a consultation with clients that had this exact scenario came up. They were concerned about, oh, do we have to have child support involved? You know, we don't want child support. You know, we want to handle it behind the scenes. They're so concerned about what they had to decide on. And I said, no, I said, in fact, I'm going to do this video today about this. And this, I think it was going to have a, be, create a conflict with them if we had, if I forced them or, or I didn't know that the court would allow a reserved jurisdiction, zero child support, uh, child support order that they, they would have been forced into, Hey, let's run the numbers. Oh, based on your income and her income and the timeshare. Hey, the calculation shows $500 in child support. So that's what it has to be. That's what would happen if you went to court, but not if you use an amicable divorce solution like myself to help you, we could package it up any way you like. So avoiding conflict was number four.